In this video, we're diving into the wiring connections of a horn relay. A horn circuit uses a relay to allow a low-powered control circuit, like the horn switch on your steering wheel, to safely control a high-powered circuit that activates the horn. The most common types horn relays are 3-pin relays, 4-pin relays, 5-pin relays. Each type has a slightly different wiring setup and functionality, and understanding how they work is key to diagnosing or designing a circuit. In this video, we'll break each one down clearly so you can understand how to wire them and what each pin actually does. Let's get started with the 3-pin horn relay. This type of relay is simple and commonly used in basic horn circuits. A typical 3-pin horn relay has three terminals labeled Pin B, connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Pin S goes to the horn button or switch. The other side of the switch is grounded. Pin H connected to the horn itself. The other side of the horn is also grounded. When the horn is off, there's no current flowing between the B and S terminals. But when you press the horn switch, current flows from B to S, activating the coil inside the relay. The coil creates an electromagnetic field that closes the internal switch between terminals B and H. This allows battery power to flow to the horn, which completes the circuit and sounds the horn. This setup is great because it keeps the high current needed for the horn away from the switch, reducing wear and improving reliability. If you found this video helpful and want to see more wiring diagram videos for different sensors or other car components, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. All right. Now let's dive into the 4-pin horn relay. The 4-pin horn relay is one of the most commonly used types in vehicles. It typically has four terminals, labeled 30, 85, 86, and 87. Pin 85 connects to ground. Pin 86 goes to the horn switch. Together, pins 85 and 86 make up the coil circuit. Pin 30, this is the power input usually coming from the battery or fuse box. Pin 87, this is the output that goes directly to the horn. Now, when you press the horn, a small current flows through the coil between pins 85 and 86. This creates an electromagnetic field that pulls a switch inside the relay. That internal switch then closes the connection between pin 30 and pin 87. Now, power from the battery flows from pin 30 to pin 87, sending full voltage to the horn. The horn gets energized, completes the circuit, and makes that loud honk. All right, let's move on to the five pin horn relay. A five pin horn relay is occasionally used in horn circuits, especially where dual functionality or future upgrades are considered. It typically has five terminals labeled 30, 85, 86, 87 and 87A. Pin 85 connected to ground. Pin 86 connected to the horn switch or a control signal. These two pins energize the internal coil, same as in a four pin relay. Pin 30. This is the common terminal, which receives power from the battery. Pin 87, the normally open contact. Pin 87A, the normally closed contact. Now, when the relay is not energized, pin 30 is internally connected to pin 87A, meaning the 87A circuit is live by default. However, 87A is usually not used in horn circuits because we only want the horn to activate when the button is pressed. Now, when you press the horn, a small current flows through pins 85 and 86, energizing the coil. This flips the internal switch, disconnecting pin 30 from 87A and connecting it to pin 87 instead. Power now flows from pin 30 to pin 87, sending current to the horn, which activates the sound. So, a 5-pin relay works like a 4-pin relay in most horn circuits, with pin 87A left unused. 